All right, I'm feeling confident enough that uh, that JD Weld's going to work. That I'm going to actually go ahead while I'm down here. Um, I'm going to assemble the lead screw. So basically, what you got is this is the uh, this is the uh, gearbox mechanism for changing direction. And what you've got is you've got this yoke-shaped piece right here, and when the lever's in the correct position, it's facing up. And that actually cradles this center, uh, it's almost like a clutch dog, cradles this right here. So what happens is, depending on what position you have this in on the uh, detents here, center position, these teeth and these teeth do not engage anything. When you flip it forward, it shifts this forward and causes this which because of this keyway right here is uh, positively engaged to positively engage the lead screw right here like this okay so what happens is when this gets shifted forward on this by the lever over to this way it will engage this gear and right there, this gear is being driven by a bevel gear from up above. And the bevel gear is being driven by a gear sort of like this that's on the end of a shaft that comes through and comes out here. So this is constantly being rotated in one direction. And then by going through the bevel gear and coming back down this side, this one is rotating in the other direction. So it's, it's, you've got two counter-rotating gears here. And depending on which way this is shifted, determines which direction the lead screw will go. So middle position, it's not engaging either gear, it's neutral. And you flip it over to this way and it turns in one direction, you flip it over this way, it turns in the other direction. Now the important thing to know about this lathe, because these gears are made out of that Zamic material, it's very easy to damage these gears. And it's highly recommended that you do not shift this gearbox while the lathe is running. It's recommended that you shut the lathe off, manually rotate as you're engaging the gear so that it uh, clicks in, and then uh, restore power. So just a tip there in case you've got one of these old lathes. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the lead screw through the carriage. Now what? What engages the lead, through, uh, lead screw through the carriage is the half nut. So if, if I raise this lever up, I'm actually opening the two halves of the half nut so that I can uh, get this through there pretty easily. And then there's also an area over here where it's supported where uh, it goes through a uh, opening uh, right, about, right about here where these two screws are. So I should be able to put this right through without too much difficulty. Okay. Now ideally at this point, the far end of the lead screw down by the tailstock would be supported. I'd be able to put this all the way through and have it supported by the, uh, by the bracket. But my bracket is still curing, and not only that, but you can't really put the bracket on until this is all the way in. So I'm going to stop right there, and I'm going to reposition the camera back to the uh, gearbox end. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to get this clutch dog in there and I need to get this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually end up putting this on like this. Okay, and then I'm going to carefully bring this over to the neutral position. Okay, now what I'm going to do is this gear, what actually holds this gear in position is the fact that this groove right here sits right in here like this. So what I do is I just hold this up like this and bring the shaft down on the lead screw and pass it through. Now I'm going to get it to that, to go through that clutch dog which, as we recall, I showed you that that's actually going to 
key weight to it, so it's got to be just right. So I'm going to get down low so I can look up underneath here and see what I'm doing. That's it. It's in. Now since that far end of the uh, lead screw down by the tailstock is completely unsupported because of the lack of the bracket, uh, it's kind of hanging down and I don't really care for that being so unsupported. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run, I'm going to run the uh, run this carriage down near that end and engage the half nut and that will keep it nice and uh, that will give it some support. all supported. It's time to take stock in things. Tail stock that is. Let's put the tail stock on. Figure I might as well, since it's another thing I can do while I'm waiting. It's pretty easy how this goes on. It's just basically slips on the end like that. In like this. Now, of course, if we had the wrench, which I might have a wrench for this, an original Atlas wrench somewhere in all of the other toys that I'm going to look through, uh, and you would tighten this up. And then, of course, this screw right here, in conjunction with the screw that's like it on the back side, um, check I just want to make sure you're getting, getting this all. So you've got, you've got a screw here and a screw on the back side here, and the tailstock's actually in two separate pieces. So you've got this base piece, and then you've got this piece right here, and there's actually a, uh, uh, almost like a, uh, a tenon uh, that this rides in. And what that does is you can, if you turn this screw in while turning the back screw out, you can actually shift tail stock, stock over that direction. Well, it's been a few days since I uh, used the JB weld on this, so it's had plenty of time to cure. and It's pretty hard, so uh, got one drip there that uh, looks kind of unsightly. I'm not really too concerned about that, but I do have an area here where it's kind of impinging near this hole so that it's going to cause a little bit of interference when I go to uh, tighten this small bolt so I am going to uh, use a file and file off that little area right there. There we go. Alright I'm out of the bracket and now I'm putting on the, the two nuts that actually uh, hold it at the end there and uh, they lock against each other so that they don't loosen. The only thing I'm not sure of is how tight they should be. Um, so what I'm going to do is, there's this little washer and you know, spacer, I'm just going to take up that little bit of a uh, gap there and uh, hopefully that will be the right amount of clearance. I've been just holding this threaded rod with my hand, but it's, it's uh, getting tight enough that I can't hold it with my hand anymore. So, Well, now I wish I had an 11 16 inch wrench that was really skinny. Um, so that I could hold that one captive while I tighten this one against it. I just try and tighten this one, it wants to spin the other one and then it's going to tighten up more than I want it to. So, let me see if I've got one thin enough, but I kind of doubt it. Well, I didn't have one, so 
hopefully that'll be okay. Now I think last time I was down here when I cemented up the, uh, or JB welded up this bracket, I was killing some time, I was putting this on, and then the uh, camera video card filled up, so I ended up quitting. But I never finished putting this on because what was bothering me was, if you notice when it turn this, there's a lot of end play in the uh, screw that goes into here, and what's happening is, there's a big space opening up right here uh, between the uh, wheel and the back side of this part right here. So you got to kind of turn it quite a bit before it bottoms out against that and then starts moving the quill. Um, I got this locked. But I'd like to you see when I back this out, it comes way out. Now, I tried pushing this on further. But it didn't seem to want to go. So um, I think what I might do is put a washer in there, even though there wasn't one in there when I took this apart. Well, I got the washer in there, and that took up the play. But I had to be careful with this uh, tightness of this nut right here. Um, it was pretty critical. Um, as soon as you got past a certain point, then it caused this, uh, this uh, screw in here that moves the quilt to bind. So I've got it right where... I want it right now. It feels nice and free, but it doesn't have that uh, in and out play. So I'm happy with that right there.